بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آور کرنٹ سیشن فوکس از آن دا رول آف لرنرس ٹیچرس اینڈ آف مٹیریل ان کوپریٹو لینگویج لرننگ آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو وڈ ہیو سم انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دا پوزیشننگ آف دا لرنرس اینڈ ٹیچرس ان سی ایل ایل اینڈ یو وڈ آلسو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از دا نیچر آف مٹیریل ان سی ایل ایل ویل آئی وڈ اسٹارٹ ود دا رول آف دا لرنرس ایز فیر ایز دا لرنرس رول از کنسرن ایز اے ممبر آف اے گروپ one must work collaboratively on tasks with other group members learners have to learn teamwork skills so the basic spirit behind you know determining the role of learners is team spirit learners are actually directors of their own learning um self learning or you know uh, monitoring their own learning is what is expected from the learners they are taught to plan to monitor and to evaluate their own learning which is viewed as a compilation of lifelong learning skills peer grouping is the most typical uh, cll format ensuring the maximum amount of time uh, both the learners spend engaged on learning tasks so you know in pairs they they work together to learn as far as the role of the teachers is concerned well a teacher's role uh, differs uh, considerably when it comes to this cooperative language learning the teacher has to create a highly structured and well organized learning environment in the classroom um, to enable cooperative learning teacher is responsible for various things which include setting of the goals planning and structuring the task establishing the physical uh, arrangement of the classroom or the setting of the classroom assigning students to groups uh, or to to make their pairs and to identify different roles and to identify or to assign these roles to them and then selecting um various materials that are to be used for various activities in the classroom and the time that is to be allocated to a particular activity so in a cll classroom the teacher is a facilitator of learning and the teacher must move around in the class the teacher is not supposed to stand in front of the students rather uh, the teacher is expected to move around to help the students who are working in groups and whenever there is a need um, the teacher should be available to the students so what uh, does a teacher do in a cll class the teacher interacts the teacher teaches refocuses questions clarifies supports expands celebrates you know the success of the students and empathizes with the students when for example they are not um able to learn quickly depending on the problems supportive behavior uh, of uh, the teacher is expected and the teacher can support through his behavior by giving feedback by redirecting the group with questions by encouraging the group to solve the problems on their own by extending um the activities to facilitate the process of learning for example by extending the time of an activity by extending thinking that that would enable critical thinking skills um by managing the conflicts in the groups when they are working together and thus creating a kind of cooperative environment by observing the students what is going on in the classroom as the teacher moves around and of course by supplying materials as resources the teacher may also have the task of restructuring lessons so that the students can work on them cooperatively this involves various steps as uh, are given by johnson et al number 1 to take your existing lessons curriculum and sources and structure them cooperatively number 2 to tailor cooperative learning lessons to your unique instructional needs circumstances curricula subject areas and students now since every learning environment every group of students every learning context is new so there is a need to tailor the contents or the materials of the lesson according to the requirements number 3 to diagnose the problems some students may have in working together and intervene to increase um, the the group effectiveness since the basis of um, cll is cooperation amongst the groups uh, of the of the learners so um, when the learners are working in a group of course as human beings sometimes they would have conflicts or they would have disagreements and this is where the teacher is supposed to play some role as far as the role of the instructional materials is concerned materials play an important part in creating opportunities for students to work 
cooperatively and to learn together.